Remember that video I filmed yesterday how warm it was and I was filming with my t-shirt? Well today, check this out, got a jacket on. I kid you not, it's amazing how much a difference a day makes. So it's about time it's starting to cool down a little bit, so I've been looking forward to this. And usually it happens when the show weekend's on, it just so happens we just had the show on. We're going to talk about something that I've spoken a bit about in the past and that's to do with the awnings. You might remember... I've always wanted a freestanding awning so if you've watched some of my videos you would have noticed I've been talking about and trying out different awnings to get quick setup so it's all about quick setup and for me camping is not about spending time setting up camp and pulling camp down I'd like to get somewhere set up as quick and easy as possible with some luxurious gear that works comfortable and just grab a chair sit down and have a drink and spend some time with my mates or go for a walk whatever and something that's easy to pack away as well so if I want to go for day trips and day drives etc and so on so I've always been looking for into these freestanding awnings but the biggest problem I had at the time and why I never purchased them from day one is the fact that I just couldn't mount them on the vehicle with ease that's the problem just could not mount on the vehicle particularly when I got the rooftop tent on so the way my vehicle is the Pajero has got the three bars but these 270 degree awnings that I'm looking at that I've always wanted they're quite heavy I mean the one I've got now it's about 26 to 28 kilos I believe it's about 26 kilos so some of them are actually over 30 kilos some are around the 35 kilos so that's just crazy so so that's the reason why to this day it's taken me so long to get a 270 degree awning and another thing too when you're traveling on the road our rest areas here in Australia majority of them are all bitumen so if you're traveling during the summer then you want and you pull up on the side of the road and you want to have a lunch break or drink or something on the side of the road cook up something quick or have a coffee then it's just it's impossible it's just so hot because the trouble with most of the awnings sold here you have to peg them out you've got to put the poles in you've got to peg them out well how are you going to peg, put pegs in the concrete or bitumen you just can't do it so I think the freestanding awnings are the way to go and because of our coastline here on the east coast particularly where I am we get quite a fair bit of breeze so you really need something sturdy in order for that to happen you need some really strong mounting points and brackets and that's what we're going to talk about today I don't know if you've noticed in any of my videos how this is all mounted so this is from a company called, if you have a look here, it's one of their emblems there, Tough Touring. So an Australian based company, so they're based in Melbourne and they've manufactured these brackets to suit this particular type of bundle top so you can mount your awnings on very securely, easily and quick setup. And that's what I love about the you know me it's all about the quick setup hence why it's got this hook on here so I'm going to show you what that hook does but meanwhile before we do that I'm going to grab the camera and give a close-up look at these brackets so as I mentioned before it's designed for the bundu tech bundu top rooftop tent that you can see here that I've got on top of my vehicle so it's all pop riveted on now some people commented, wouldn't, wouldn't your tent start leaking where it's pop riveted? Well, these rivets are actually sealed. So they've got a seal. I'm not sure how they done it, but when, when they pop rivet on, they automatically seal it. And I've had this tent in some nasty storms and a lot of rain, and I've not one drop of water's gone inside. So you can see the brackets for each corner are basically a two-piece. So you have a look along there. You can see that it's got the other piece of bracket that's mounted onto the side of the rooftop tent here the front is exactly the same so we'll go have a look there so that's the front you can see the corner there so a lot of pop rivets so it's very sturdy mounted nice and flush up against the rooftop tent another thing I want to show you we're at the towards the back again you can see that the spacer there okay so this one's designed this particular spacer comes with the ostrich wing awning that I've got here 
and that so it allows the rooftop tent to easily close because you can see if you look at the top lid you can see it's got a lip around the side so they allow that spacer there and also that assist to easy removal so basically those two bolts you just loosen them and the whole thing just slides off so with the kit when you order it you also will get this plaque here which is a highly polished stainless steel with tough touring on it now let's have a closer look at this one here on the corner so this is a bracket I particularly wanted to really show you because of the way it's designed if you look close it's got the, like this hook on the end so what that is for is it actually makes it a lot easier to set up your awning so instead of having to use your strap and tie it back onto your roof rack well then you just rook that bar onto that so that sets it up to the perfect tension all the time so what I'm going to do I'm going to open the awning up and I'm going to show you how that works saw how easy that is and how quick that is to set up and it's the same when you pack away basically just a little bit of force on there and that works like so so it hooks onto your bar here so it's a wonderful setup makes it very quick works a treat all the time never fails set up to the correct tension there's quite a fair bit of a breeze blowing right here my guess it's probably blowing around 15 20 knots and if you have a look this awning's hardly moving and a lot of that's to do with those brackets just how rigid they are when i had this set up one of the installers actually hung off one of these bars here that come off this awning here and he was actually literally swinging off it that just gives you an idea on the strength of this awning as well as the strength of the mounting brackets just press it on and you're done even tension all the time never have to worry about is it set up at the right tension so absolutely perfect so once you get these at the right tension you'll have less pooling problems as well solid construction as you can see now i've got a bit of a breeze blowing in probably my guess is probably 15 knots at least blowing up to 20 knots it's just dropped down a bit right now but about five minutes ago it was blowing quite a decent gale and this thing was hardly moving now if required and there's a storm i want to use the poles remember we do have the drop down leg fitted on each three bars here of course the last one doesn't need a drop down leg because it's hooked onto that hook over there that's made by tough touring so it's the only ones that i've seen have got anything like this the ostrich wing is not the only awning that these brackets will fit so basically these brackets here are adaptable to other awnings now as far as i know i believe that the brackets are all the same they're all similar the only difference is is that some of these awnings you have to get the spacer so remember i mentioned about that spacer they included with the ostrich wing and that allows the awning to just get away away from the bundle top just that fraction so that lip on the lid when it goes up and down has got room so it doesn't catch onto the awning itself and that you do not want that to happen because that could cause problems if that gets hooked on there when you're opening or closing it now the benefit with the ostrich wing it includes that bracket but if you want to use one of the other awnings such as the Bundy Awn which is from Bundy Tech, so you've got the Bundy Awn or you've got the Darchi 270 degree awning as well it's compatible with this well basically just about any awning well you need to get that spacer and Tough Touring actually make that spacer so you can buy it in a pair and it's about $60 the brackets themselves at the time of filming are three hundred dollars so yeah it's a little bit costly but remember you want to make sure you've got a really good secure connection onto your vehicle and i think these tough touring brackets are the way to go so it's a fair bit of research and development going in through there and they are manufactured here in australia down in melbourne support your local manufacturers got here guys here in australia they're very well finished as well so it looks like it appears they are powder coated so you're not going to have any issues with the rust whatsoever 
they include everything that you need apart from the tools of course you need a rivet gun but all the rivets are included they even come with that really nice stainless steel plaque that I just showed you before with the tough turn so if you wish you can put that onto your rooftop tent or otherwise you don't have to but I choose to put it on now I think it looks great I went through some of my statistics on the YouTube channel this morning and I noticed it's quite surprised that only about 12% of you guys watching have actually subscribed to my YouTube channel so only about 12% so that's 88% of you haven't subscribed to me channel so I'd really appreciate if you could subscribe it'll help my channel enormously and also if you when you subscribe put a tick on the little bell icon so that'll let you know when the new videos come up so for those who are watching right through the end, thank you very much. And as always, if there's any questions, just ask below and I'll do my best to answer. And until next time, look after yourself and be kind to everyone, eh? Cheers.